I bought something in this, Zara. So we're in. So you see, there's even somebody here already saying hi. Let's just see what there is. You're in summer Zara stuff, aren't you? What I usually do is I will sort of like, just all come on in. I mean, the poor security man won't know what's hit him. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through my mind of how I shop. I always know, for example, I do not suit a shift dress. I'm not that woman because I don't have a short body and endlessly long legs. So it's not me. So like whenever I see that look, I just step away. And then I know that very big prints wear me. You know, small prints don't wear me. And I know that prints that are abstract, I can wear better than prints that are figurative, like big flowers, you know? Whereas some women, a big flower print is a phenomenal on her, kind of a general rule. Then I look at colors, which it is an utter joy to be in Melbourne and see so much color. You know, it really is. It's amazing. And something I want to just discuss here called, for all the shows I've done around the world, it's called the tall poppy syndrome. And when I first came to Australia, it was really prevalent. It was that fear of standing out because other people go, look what she's doing, you know? And it's sort of like, can we just get over that? Can we just say like, we have the right to be whoever we wish to be to express ourselves and to not, not, not care what people think, not worry what other people think. And I'm sure the more that you wear colors and express yourself, the more you slightly maybe do feel you give joy to those around you and you're getting a bit of joy back. So that's kind of in a nutshell, everything we always talk about. So I'm gonna skim around, I'm just gonna like say what's inside my head. Nice print, caftan, kind of, I mean, some of you might have bought this, but sort of defining of one's age, unless you're 20. So that kind of, to me, is not going to be something sexy in my wardrobe or, or changing it. Whereas that could be great. Could, you could wear it with a belt. It's a broderie anglaise. You know, it was very interesting in Sydney seeing how many women I saw who I knew had never done up the top button were doing up the top button. And this is a thing that, you know, I used to have such bloody rules with Susanna. It was like, big tits, don't wear a pearl neck, don't do this. And now it's sort of, what actually makes you frame your face when you get to this place in your life where you should be an ageless woman? People in my office, when I say ageless in their 20s and 30s, they feel it's very aging. <laughs> but uh, for me, at 58, I think ageless sounds fabulous. So I think that's an ageless dress. You can wear it over trousers. You can wear it with a little brooch here. You can belt it. You can wear it open. It would suit different body shapes. And broderie anglaise is a perennial classic, like leopard print is. So, that I love, okay? We can dress it up or down, so I love that. That's like Kardashian beige, okay? I'll just put it down. <laughs> jean shirt, we can all have one. I have girlfriends in their 50s where a ripped jean for them represents that they're not being seen as too old. I'd love to do a ripped jean. It might river the ankle, but I can't have it across the knee with razor blade ripping because it's just like, it's gonna show the cellulite and I'm not comfortable, whatever. But like a rid of ripping at the top, this is a real, this is sort of Mia Friedman. You know, that kind of look, channeling that. And it's like, that's great. And you can do it, you know, with a beautifully cut pair of trousers. It needn't be a mixed jean with a jean moment, but it's just throwing something on. And then underneath, we could have a little shoulder pad, you know, if we're feeling with the kind of postures going. Again, that's kind of great for the beach. I mean, that's, this is interesting, but let me just put it on because this is like, I look at this and I think, is this something where you should step away rapidly or there's an element in it? So the reason I pick it up is I see gray, which is chic, and I see, oh, a little Dimonte. You know, so those two things make me go, oh, let's try it on, all right? And I think, how would I wear this, you know? And I'm wearing it with silver, so maybe it's gonna look okay with the silver. I could have it with a pair of jeans, but you know, there's something about that that kind of feels cool. I'd probably button it up and have it open like that. But you know, that like, that feels like wacky something. You know, cheers me up, playing it down with a little bit of Diamante. But if you don't suit gray, step away. But it's like things like that, I'd think, that's my rash decision. And then I get it home and then I think, how many times will I wear it? So you've got to really think, can I think of 20 different ways to wear it? And for 109 Australian dollars, 49 pounds probably, you need to think of 20 ways you can wear it. You know, it's not a $69 kind of event. That shoe, picking it straight up. Simple, clean, kind of, it's not Hermes, but it has that flat, 
you know, if you have the ankles of a racehorse like Susanna, it's gorgeous. If you have cankles like mine, I step away from that. The gold with a nice tanned ankle and a little crop wide leg um, jean, really, really chic. What's your favorite thing here? Or are you just making sure we don't misbehave? <laughs> He's just like thinking, I didn't walk in today thinking this is gonna happen. Um, okay, let's go to jeans. Look, it's like my marine jeans are right here. This is, this is actually it. That's a marine jean, it's here. Look, they have so many colors. Isn't that cool, Dido? So anyway, why do I like a crop? All right, because a crop is like, I have a crop on now. Celine, Zara, not much difference. But the reason I like a crop is that it just feels a more modern jean. And I just look at both of these and I think they work. And if I wear them with a trainer underneath and I have a little bit of my ankle showing, I just think that this is a step on from a skinny jean. So I always choose these over a skinny jean nowadays. And that's what you've got to ask yourself as well. So just put them back now. There we go. Lots of colours to choose from. And now I'm moving on to jewellery. Zara always do great jewellery. Lovely earrings here, necklaces. They're usually about £19, $40. But it's a little accessory that can change an entire outfit. Ah, oh, this is something I would never buy. It's just not me. It was never me, in fact, because when I was younger, I would never have the boobs for it. Lovely print shirt. The print is in a colour I adore. The size of the print works for me. I love doing a top button up. And I've noticed since I've been in Australia how many people now understand the smartness of a shirt to frame your face and doing up the top button. Check if the fabric creases. Sometimes fabrics crease badly. I'm feeling this one now. It's a bit creasy, leaving that well alone. Moving on now to belts. I love belts from Zara. This one is fabulous. You can wear it over a jacket and winch in a jacket that might seem old fashioned. It can update a dress that might have been a bit boring and been in your wardrobe for ages. Having the black on the outside will winch in your waist. These shoes. Now, kitten heels. Very on trend right now. My cankles do not work with a kitten heel, so I would never buy a kitten heel. Just goes too far in, and my ankle is not going in above it. Whereas if you have a racehorsey ankle, you can take that little inverted heel. I have to be very careful with these. I love them, but step away. Red, red suit. I have this suit, in fact. This is literally like the suit I have in London, but when I feel it, the fabric is a little bit different from the one I have in London. My one has a little sort of double stitched pleat on the trouser and the fabric in this is a little bit thinner. Moving on now. I mean, this is the Zara jumper. It's in England 19.99 or 29.99 and they are so easy to wear. They come in so many colours each season. The buttons have changed slightly on these jumpers. I don't know how many of you remember I had one which was in navy and white stripe with a lovely pearl button detail. And recently they've all got these little gold buttons. Bags. I love these bags. I actually have this bag. Let me just untangle them. I've got them all tangled up here. Um, but this bag here, crossbody, really nice. I don't mind wearing gold and silver together. I'm a neutral, which means I suit gold and silver. Some of you might suit gold more than silver. But I do prefer this bag in the gold. I think it looks more expensive. Coord, this is such a green Beautiful green colour, and I think it's so wearable. And the idea of a cord is one of my favourite things. In fact, you would suit that cord. These shoes, again, that kitten heel, but fab colour. Really wonderful orange colour. Now, I'm attracted to this because there's been a big trend this season of this sort of gauze fabric with a print on it. And I think Dolce Gabbana did it a while ago. And it's a body which I remember first time round from the 90s. It could be a good underpiece. You could wear it with a nude bra underneath. I just think it's a look and it can look really cool or it can look really cheap. So it depends entirely how you wear it. You know, if you have the kind of little bit of the um, all-in-one hanging out, that's not a good idea. Love these shoes. I mean, they're just my kind of shoe because it's a platform. It's a heavy heel. It's a gorgeous color. 
It's fantastic also if you're petite and you're wearing a wide leg trouser and you want a shoe that you don't totter in, but actually makes your legs look longer and has that gorgeous pink peeping out the bottom. There's something, I mean, I can see Dido in this actually, there's something fabulous about wearing two white rosettes on your boobs but you can't have big boobs for this look because they would just pop out you'd have to be slightly um flatter in the chest this orange shirt it's great it's such a good color it's a lovely cotton again it would look messy if the button was undone like this as you're as you see the shirt it just kind of it does look messy and it's an oversized shirt as well so there's a lot of volume so I like to tuck it in at the front and have it coming out the back and then I would do up the top button like the one on the left and you just see how much neater the shirt looks already compared to the one on the right moving on leopard leopard is a classic and you know many years ago at the time, I think Saint Laurent made leopard in very... Well, leopard, first of all, was very fashionable in the 40s. And we saw a lot of leopard prints. And then Saint Laurent in the 70s, 80s, made leopard such a trend. And then it was a trend every few years. But it is now a classic. This, I adore. In fact, it's like a jeans jacket, which I haven't many of, but in leopard. And you can wear it as an overpiece, like I'm doing now. You can button it up. You can tuck in one bit and leave the other bit untucked. There's so many different things that you can do with it. The fabric is nice. It's comfortable. You can roll up the sleeve. You can keep the sleeves undone. I'm definitely getting this. Now, this is an interesting jacket. From far away, you look, and that's quite expensive-looking detail on the collar. I can't remember how much it is. I like the buttons as well, that they're covered in the white. And I think it's worth trying on. You could wear it over jeans, but it is a very nice, expensive-looking jacket. There's a bit of stretch in it as well. And I just think, even though it's double-breasted, somebody with big boobs would suit it because the lapel is big enough that it gives you that V. The sleeve is a little bit short, um, so it does help that I'm wearing my Tiffany cuff. But I think that's quite a beautiful jacket. And I love a white blazer. And I can obviously move around in a lot because I'm making mad arm movements. Oh, there. A little... I've been rather obsessed because somebody in our team was wearing these Chanel flats. And these are inspired from the Chanel flat with little pearl buttons. I think on the right foot, they can look incredibly elegant. And then we have them in gold. I like the gold, but I don't love the extra gold triangle on top because it's a little bit bronzy. But on the right skin tone, it could actually look very nice. And... We're now going to try on this kimono. Now, many women have kimonos. There's a lady over there. Look, fabulous. And shoulder pads in it. Now, when you wear kimonos to stop them looking like a dressing gown, it's really important to make them have a proper straight shoulder because it changes the whole look of the kimono. And I just think, you know, you can buy little shoulder pads from Amazon. You can wear a shoulder pad T-shirt underneath, but you can belt it the pattern is lovely. I just think it's great. So that was my little Zara shop up and I hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch up again soon.